do not let them get you stay out of it stay out of it stay out of it you got a wristband can't get in without a wristband hello y'all welcome back to my channel and in today's video i will be giving high school advice to my high school buddies out there so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's go ahead and get started So the first thing is drama. Stay out of it, stop talking about it, don't entertain it, don't do nothing. That's one of the worst mistakes you can make as a high schooler. Do your own thing, don't let anyone tell you who to be or what to do. Um, when you hear somebody talking about somebody, uh, don't even engage in it. Act like you can't even hear or shut it down. Because anything you decide to agree on, they'll try to flop it and make it seem like it's you. People are definitely weird. Don't put nothing past nobody. Don't trust nobody. Or not don't trust nobody, but just watch who you be around. Like, don't be around people who like to entertain drama or anything like that. Because them be the ones, man. Them be the ones. Popularity. Um, don't stress about it. Be yourself. The people that's meant to be in your circle will come to you naturally because when you leave school, it won't even matter anymore. Nobody will be worried about how popular you were in high school. Everybody goes their separate ways. Eventually, anyways, you forget names, faces, everything like that, whether you want to or not. Um, it literally happens. Um, just be you. Like what's like literally just be you. Don't let anybody dictate anything for you um the popular kids are not always the best kids because at the end of the day think about it when something go wrong and say somebody get exposed or anything like that you popular so it's automatically going around or something whereas like if you get exposed and like you're not like that popular it's just like oh it's okay you just heard something you feel me like you get what i'm saying you you picking up what i'm putting down dating <laughs> Woo! When you date, you learn a lot about yourself, to say the least. Um, and not meaning it to say like you can't learn it on your own, but a person can definitely tell you a lot about yourself when you're with them. Um, you learn about your type, uh, toxic traits about yourself, stuff like that. If it's somebody that you're interested in, you can see yourself with them. Give it a try. I mean, don't knock it till you try it, but don't be out here messing with everybody now. Don't be doing that. Make sure you're not making them your priority though. If you can't date someone and focus on your schoolwork or what needs to be done or just yourself or make you a priority, um, bye. You don't need to be around nobody that's distracting you from your hustle, your grind, nothing like that. Keep that, keep your head in them books, child. Do you hear me? Keep your head in them books, okay? Okay, big sis Indy. Friends. <laughs> Woo! You can start off with 20 and end up with two to four. Not even gonna lie to you. Regardless of how many friends uh, you have when you start high school, it's always gonna change no matter what. You simply can just like outgrow people. You can realize that people are weird, fake, problematic, jealous, or all of the above. Like, um, it's sad when you <laughs> can be around somebody and friends with somebody for so long and actually care about them and then they mess you over. But you just gotta suck it up and learn that it's life you'll be okay your real friends will stick around and just remember with anything that's meant for you it won't be forced at all you won't have to force nobody to be friends with you you won't have to force nobody to understand where you're coming from or nothing like that it's okay to cry about it to think about it but don't ever show that you bother don't stress about it brush it off with a grain of salt keep it pushing but you definitely will meet new friends like i said what's meant for you will stick also make sure that you make at least some friends your age too and not so many upperclassmen because when they leave it's gonna hurt and you're gonna feel alone and so also you don't feel like that you're rushing your life or trying to figure out like what you're doing for college or anything like that so have your upperclassmen but also have people that's around you too activities sports etc 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 drum club student council all this all this other stuff um do it if you have time for it make the most out of your high school experience because it does go by so fast like literally when people used to tell me that it goes by fast i was like you're lying you're lying there's no way it goes by fast and it just went by like you didn't even see it you didn't even see it so from cheer to sports arts club student council do it if you're interested in it it also looks good on college applications to help show that you know how to multitask and you're good with time management so 
that looks good <laughs> but don't stress yourself out in high school learn from your mistakes and keep it pushing the real stress is adulting it it sucks don't rush it um don't worry about it just live your best life in high school don't worry about it don't worry about it don't worry about it it is the devil you gotta tell it do you got a wristband can't get in without a wristband <laughs> Great. Stay on top of your stuff. Okay, get your work done and stay organized. Get you a planner. Hold on, let me go get mine for you. I have my 2022 mini planner. Hold on, I got my little stickers in here. I got my little stickers. You, you see it. I have that one for content and stuff like this. This one helps me with my bills and stuff like that. I really need to switch everything over to that one. And then I also have my journal to to keep me sane because whew, life is hard i'm telling y'all life is hard please don't rush it please listen to me and do not rush life so it, it just helps me like remember my dates and stuff though like just to keep me organized remember important days coming up remember what i need to pay or remember what i need to do and everything like that and it just helps you just be more organized all together who don't want to be more organized like why are you disorganized in high school like you're weird like don't do that like that is so weird like why are you doing that like stop <sighs> and i don't know about y'all but i'll literally be forgetting when it be coming to remembering dates so you definitely need a planner because if you forget them dates so the test dates are like that i said or that ace that remember period but as you complete them check them off because it helps you see what you've accomplished even if you have a lot left it literally helps you stay motivated it helps you stay focused it helps you like check stuff off like this is done i might have this to go but this is done like i kid you not like it literally helps it helps it helps the girls that get it get it the boys that don't don't girls this is literally big sis mode big sis mode big mode especially if you are a freshman do not let these senior boys trick you don't let them get to you don't let them try to act like that they like you nothing they do this every year with every single girl that comes in they only want your goodies don't give it up i'm sorry to say it it's literally the truth don't let them get them make sure that you respect yourself more than anything but if you do decide to do any of that please don't let them take any pictures of you any videos of you nothing like that because they'll try to spread it if you try to deny them they'll try to use it against you in any way shape or form don't let them belittle you don't let them mess up your high school experience because that is embarrassing coming into high school as a freshman and letting somebody ruin your um reputation before you can even start your own um but yeah please just trust me i've seen it all in high school i i've literally seen it all and it's not pretty career don't stress about having your life figured out after high school but it's a good idea to have a list of things that you want to do or to accomplish or that interests you don't let these teachers or anyone try to dictate what's best for your life um you know what you like and you know what you don't like uh it will come to you when you least expect it but don't wait too long to think about it at the same time so make sure you're doing your research don't let anyone decide your career for you as growing up when i was in school and stuff my dad used to always say like oh you're gonna be a lawyer this is now you're gonna make that money this is now you're gonna be a nurse and then like i've just always seen people say that they were going to school for nursing or something something like that so i forced that on myself so long in high school that when i finally got out of high school i was like that's not what i want to do i want to become an esthetician because i care about skin i care about skin care so let's get into that so if there is something in your gut or in your heart that's like no i don't want to do that i want to do this go do it please go do it because or just think about it go go shadow do job shadows do everything do your research network and stuff and figure out what works best for you because at the end of the day you're gonna be the one doing that for the rest of your life and you don't want to go to college 
and sit here and get these all these little uh bills and stuff these loans and stuff to be in something that you're not even interested in don't do that to yourself because at the end of the day you know what you want to do and if you don't then take time to figure it out even if you don't even know after high school still take time to figure it out but when you do make sure you applying for grants and stuff like that and um scholarships and stuff just to help yourself out don't just dive in just do your research please do well if you have made it this far please make sure you like comment and subscribe Share it to someone who you feel like needs this advice if they're going to high school or if they are in need of a little help these days or just anything like that. Please share the word help a high schooler out and tell them Big Sis got them. And if you have any additional advice or anything like that that I probably have missed because it's a lie, uh, just drop it down in the comments and let's conversate. Let's talk. But I love you guys and I will see you next time. Peace out.